Hello, I'm John Rushton, the emotions expert. I'm going to talk about being different. What is it to be different in life? There are many people who are different for a whole range of reasons, and it doesn't really matter what they are. You're entitled to be unique in life, to do what you want, say what you want, be something out of the norm. You don't want to be like everybody else. That's dull and boring and pathetic, and you don't need anything or get anywhere because of that. When you're different, it can actually start from a childhood situation when you have different attributes. And sometimes, negatively, your parents can say, why don't you do what other children are doing? Why don't you do what they're doing? Why aren't you like other children? Why don't you play with them? Why do and of course, you don't know. All you know is as a child that you don't want to do what they do. You don't feel the way they feel. You don't see the things that they see. You don't like the toys that they like and all of these kind of things. And yet quite often to your parents, it's disturbing because they don't understand. They think you should be like everybody else and that makes them feel good. And it really, it's a disturbing factor. They should be more open and understanding that you know, you're developing into who you may be later in life. And just because they get frightened because you're as a child and not like other children, playing with other children and doing what they're doing, and you're not. And this is something which actually comes to people many later in life. And they think, well, you know, when I was a child, I, I'm really quite annoyed about this now. I wasn't allowed to be myself. Well, let's forget that because you can't do anything about it now. It's gone. It's finished. It's the past. It was then. It's not now. You are here now. You can make a difference now. You can do what you want now. You can say what you want now. You can do what you want. You can go where you want. You can have whatever colors you choose. You can say or be the person you want to be. The only person stopping you from being the person you want to be is you. Nobody else. Forget other people's comments. They're thick, stupid, ignorant people. They don't know any better. They're just reiterating what they think and feel. Well, we don't care what they think and feel because what they think and feel has nothing to do with you. You are you. And you're entitled to show that. You're entitled to be that. And don't let anybody ever put you down. Don't let the government, media, friends, family, parents, brothers, sisters, anybody. If you feel the way you do, and it's not the same as anybody else, then good on you. That's you being you, the unique person you are. You're born to be unique. You're not born to be anyone else. Even if you've got a, a twin brother or sister or whatever, it doesn't matter. You are still unique. You were born to live this life your way. Nothing to do with God or religion, nothing to do with your culture or other stupid things which are around you. You are completely independent of all of those things. You are you. And this is how it should be as you get older, you develop and you develop the understanding where you are in life. And that will change because as you get older, you understand various things. It's like drinking wine or eating mustard. When you're a two or three year old, the last thing you want to do is have mustard. It's hot, it's nasty, it burns. And of course, as you get older, you develop a more mature taste for it. And you may do the same for wine or whatever it is. <clears throat> There's always something which you didn't like when you were younger. But as you get older, you fall into that place where it's more easier to understand and digest and you, you understand the nuances of what these things are. Life is like that, it grows. And some people at an early age, actually fall into being who they are, unique being. Sometimes it doesn't actually catch people until their late teens, 20s even, and they suddenly realize that all of a sudden, wow, I have these interests. I have this, I like this, I like this. And there are a few people around me which actually like them. It's difficult actually finding friends I can talk to, friends I can really feel an empathy with and I can feel warm and comfortable with them. I can laugh with them and I can talk seriously with them. And that's quite a difficult thing too. And there's a thing called Myers-Briggs, which is not all that important in life, but for many people, it gives characterization about who you are in life and all the characters which pertain to why you are who you are and why some people 
people are like this and why some people are like that and why some people like something else. It's just an interesting concept if you wish to look for yourself. There's also various things, your sexuality, who you are as a human being, what you want to do. You may have a different view on life and what you would like to do in life. You may be a loner, someone who loves their own company and actually likes to dwell on their own and do things on their own predominantly in life. You may be someone who is quite gregarious and you definitely need people around you. If you don't get people around you, you panic you go into a mood, you start to do stupid things and just phone people and be a nuisance to everybody because you have to have people around you. If you don't, you, you actually don't thrive, you go downhill. So there are two different characters there. And then there are people in between, far, far many people in between and different stances in between. But being different is something to hold dear to your heart. It's you being you. And don't let any psychology books or any other stupid people or anything dissuade you from who you are, who you want to be, what you want to do. You may go through a bit of a time in life where you're struggling nonstop, trying to find the entity you really are. But that's part and parcel of your strength. This is part and parcel of who you are as a person. The struggle is part of it's going to make you the great, wonderful, fabulous, marvellous person you're going to be out of the end of it all. Don't let your self-esteem or self-willpower wane at every any second. Just keep on with that. I am fabulous. I'm okay. I don't care what you say, and you can say what you want, because I'm certainly going to say what I want. You can do what you want, because I'm certainly going to do what I want. And if I do what I want and you get upset, I don't particularly care, because it's you've chosen to get upset. If you don't like me, it's very simple. Walk away. Don't talk to me ever again. If you don't like me on Facebook or Instagram, then delete me. Don't actually make a, a, a harassing mess out of the whole thing. Say, oh, I don't like this person. They keep doing this. Then stop it. You're in charge of your life. And everybody else around you is in charge of their life. And they're not in charge at all in any shape or form of your life based on what they think and what they know. And they know very little about you. That Even if they've known you for 20 years or so, they still don't know what is deep inside. And this is very important for you. This is you being the person you are. Always be the person you want to be. It doesn't matter what company you're in. Nobody is better than you. They may be more knowledgeable in certain fields. They may be more intelligent in certain areas. But whatever it is that you have, it's unique to you. And so don't let anybody dissuade you from that saying, well, of course, I know this and this and other people who've done what you've done haven't done. So what? That's nothing to do with you. And just because they didn't follow what it sh they should have done to a successful ending, it doesn't mean anything. It could be they've done something stupid and not followed through like you could do. There are lots of reasons, but you don't have to know any of them. All you know have to know is you have to be you. Because when you're you, you are omnipotent. You're the person you need to be.